about 6.30 in the morning. He got his toy. And I uh, was over at the Loves, so I came over here to the Flying J, which is just three miles away, because I want to do some laundry today and get a shower tonight or first thing in the morning before I go pick up my load. And I have showers here, is not at Loves, and they tend to have a little bit better laundry here. There's Pam Pam, yeah. This is gonna be another long, boring day today, to say the least. The sun's starting to come up. I'm downloading stuff onto my computer. So, yeah, this sucks. It's a very, very long Memorial Day weekend, and I should have been able to go home, and I didn't, and I'm still super pissed about it. But I've come to the realization I'm gonna end up having to stay here at H&M till, I don't know, July. Then I'll worry about leaving. But all you guys will know, this weekend was the reason why I'm gonna end up leaving here. He wants his toy so bad. At least he wants back up on the bed so he can chew it. <laughs> so yeah. Not a happy camper at all. I'm gonna just try and make the best of it today. Maybe I'll go do something. We'll just have to see. Pam Pam wants his toy. Her, 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 her. Head shake. Head shake. guys drive in here instead of just slowing down. Just about finished with my laundry here. Got it in the dryer. Got pen pen. A couple minutes left, but this is how we do laundry. This is inside the pilot, just a little laundry room, and got a folding table. And usually there's a chair in here, but you can just use this CSC app and pay for everything through it. It's a little less than 10 bucks, about $9.25 or so. You put a little extra time on the dryer. It's about an hour and 10 minutes to dry, give or take, and it's only 35 minutes to wash. But this is just your standard washer and dryer that you see just about anywhere, apartment complexes and whatnot. But it's almost done, three minutes left. Time for some ice cream. Walking across the street to Wendy's. Gonna get frosty real quick. And I got Pam Pam. So I don't ever leave him anywhere. And it's quite busy out here, to say the least. But it's frosty time. So there's a barber shop here truck wash they do oil changes and stuff and I just shaved my head completely feels great I don't get to do that very often there's a couple really big dogs here so I'm gonna run around over here so I can get away from them before they see me because Pim Pim looks like a, uh, a uh, rabbit. I don't like being around them, if I can help it. But man, if you guys ever come to Manteca, 
or man, sorry, not Manteca, Madeira. You want a, a shave, a haircut. Man, it's right here. This is the edge of the truck stop. It's right on the, right on the other side of it right there. Man, it feels good. I've never gotten a straight razor before, ever. It was the first time I've ever done it. But see here, I'm at the flying or the pilot. Now the CB shop and barber shop. All right here. Basically, didn't speak English at all, but we got through it. Not a single mess up. Pam Pam enjoyed the hell of it. He just sat on top of me. So now, walk back to the truck. Probably gonna go take a shower now, I think. Maybe. Maybe I'll just wait a little bit longer. See many showers are open. And we're gonna go to bed early. Try and get back on uh, central time. So this is how a trucker takes a shower. I just reserved it. I'm walking inside from the truck. And it says shower three. So you take your code. Four, zero, seven, eight, three. Open the door here. They always have a fan running. They always have a fan running here as they mop the floors. This is for the floor. So when you get out of the shower, you can step on it without getting everything away. I take my shoes off. I Put my backpack on the hanger, which is supposed to be three of them. So I always use a backpack. To me, it's the simplest way. Then you have your towel, and inside your towel, you have a washcloth. I highly recommend you take the washcloth and go like that. Because most truck drivers, they uh, use washcloths to clean areas that you don't want to use it in. So I don't use it at all. Then you have your towel. There's a spot to hang it here and here, if you wanted to. So I take my towel, and I hang it there. Man, I forgot. I carry soap in there. Forgot about that. Shoot. So, what I do, this is for drying Pam when I have that, but I have a thing of soap here, and I put it in this container, and I forgot to put a new one in it. That's my fault. And then I have all my other toiletries and stuff in here, and then I have my clothes right here. So then I take the stool out, put my clothes there. I have shampoo for Pen Pen. I have a uh, uh, hair clippers and then in here I just kind of have a little bit of everything that I might or might not need but I just shaved my head I got my head shaved and then you got you know toilet obviously and then I, I always put my the floor towel way over here because water will come out and drip across and go into this drain so if you put it right here, it'll just get soaked. Then all you gotta do is turn on the shower. And there is soap in here. Body soap. It's pretty good stuff. And then you just crack on the shower. Oh yeah, this one's not gonna give me an option to change it. Here. And that's how a trucker takes a shower. To see how it gets water everywhere. Makes a big old track over here. So don't ever put the foot mat down there. You notice rag stayed there the whole time. Never used it. 
think Tim's ready to go. Yeah.